Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. Um, for those of you who don't know what this is, I wanted to create like a like a virtual cafe where people can meet up, chat makeup, chat life, whatever you need. For anyone that's feeling lonely or needs support, there's always wonderful people in the live chat. And of course I will be there too to chat with you all. So yes, that's kind of what it's all about. So today's just a chatty get ready with me, a oh, full face of nothing new. So I've been thinking about Karma Chameleon and how I want it to be calming and for mental health. And I, I thought there's products, especially eyeshadow palettes, that I just don't get time to play with and really want to go back to. So let me know what you think, but I'm considering every Karma Chameleon, it will be a palette that hasn't been used for a while. So yes, let's get on with it. So the primer I'm going in with is the Catrice Clean ID Insta Bright Serum Primer. And that's it. All right. So it's very bizarre looking. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't look overly appealing. So yeah, how has your week been? Has anything exciting happened to uh, anyone? I'm going to get my kind of bad news out of the way. Um, so yesterday or Wednesday, as you're watching this, I uh, I lost my job. <laughs> it was inevitable. It's not anyone's fault. Um, to effectively run a business, you need people in the positions and where no one knows the answer as to when I will be able to work. So, uh, yeah, I was let go on medical grounds. But yeah, whilst I understand and completely agree with their decision, it, it's still hard. It's still affected me quite a lot so uh, yes that's my bad stuff <laughs> so the foundation I'm going in with is Oroma Say What I have it in the shade White Pearl T2W um, I love this and I actually for the first time in probably months managed to uh, well, remember to wet my sponge so that I could actually use it so I've got the two of them, this is brilliant for the concealer, brilliant for the foundation. They're Sunday Ivy, I love them. So when it comes to sponges, what do you guys prefer? See, these are like the, um, I don't know how to describe them. Microfiber, is it? Um, crikey, it goes a long way with the sponge. So I much prefer the texture of these ones to the, uh, the other ones, <laughs> the normal. I don't know whether you call it normal texture, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I've been really lazy. Well, I say lazy. I really struggle with the stairs. So once I'm up, I don't want to keep going up and down because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've fallen and I don't want to do it again. So I actually remember today to wet them and I'm so happy I did because, uh, yeah, it's been a while and I know I love these sponges a lot. I'm really wanting to get some of the mini ones to give them a try for concealer and possibly eye primer. So I do have some uh, very exciting videos coming up. Well, I'm excited. Um, some new products, um, some products I received in PR, which I, I'm still amazed I get any PR. But I don't even know how to feel. I'm so excited and so, so grateful. It is unreal. I'm not sure if it takes longer with a sponge or whether I'm just imagining it. But I do like the finish when you use a sponge with a lot of foundations. I think there's some that look better with a brush though. Apply better with a brush. I think this foundation just seems to go nice over any primer used with sponge brush I can think what I was talking about um so my brain's been a bit all over the place <laughs> I'm constantly brain dead or what do they call it brain fog 
yeah that's that's my life right now <laughs> so today the weather is pretty crap i was really hoping to sit in the garden and just get some fresh air and because i can't stand for long so we do have a table and chairs in the garden and it's really nice to just sit out there and have kind of that change of scenery where it's so seldom that I leave the house I was only I left the house for a doctor's appointment and for a physio appointment but other than that I haven't left the house but next weekend my mum is coming over to stay for a couple of days and hopefully or maybe <laughs> I'm gonna hire a wheelchair for the day so that I can be taken downtown which would be so much fun because it has been oh crikey um october the beginning of october was the last time i was able to go downtown and go to the shops and i'm so excited to go in like tk maxx b m oh i can't wait i just wish my my body would uh catch up with my brain catch up with what i want I think it would match up. No, I haven't got a clue. I think I know what I mean. But yeah, I want my body to get better so that I can uh, live a relatively normal life again. So I'm going to be going in with two concealers, which is pretty normal for me now. So I'm using the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer in the shade 4N Neutral. Um, I really enjoy this uh, this concealer. I think it's really nice. Yeah, so there's a massive amount left to cover. It's a bit odd, this doe fur. Like, almost longer and skinnier. I'm not quite sure what, what I make of it. I'm sure I've gotten to the point where I'm imagining spots there now to cover. <laughs> that sounds about right. So, I'm going to use the bigger sponge for my face. So I've been watching a lot of American Idol this week. So I'm not sure if it's the season that you're on in America or what. But it's on our Netflix and uh, I am loving it. And I'm so excited because they've just gone from the uh, the top 24 to the top 16. And all of the ones I love made it through. It, oh, I'm just so ecstatic for them. It's like where I'm stuck in on my own pretty much all the time i almost feel like the programs i watch that i kind of throw myself into it so much as if i know them which i know sounds stupid but that's me so for under my eyes i've got the madage beauty skin perfect photo ready concealer in the shade medium light porcelain i love this it has a very long name which uh, hurts my brain at the moment but it is so worth it it's really good. It is my favourite concealer for um, under my eyes. I have used it as an eyeshadow primer. And I do have to say it worked really well. So, uh, let's get you bounced in. I really like the shape of this sponge. I think it was called like the slime or something. I can't remember now, but <laughs> I, uh, I received these as um so i was gifted these by sunday ivy or made by sunday as the actual brand i think is known um and i just fell in love with them i love them so much i just forget to uh to wet my sponges so that i can use them look at that it just i apply seamlessly with this so I'm not going to be doing all the other cream products today just because everything else is going to take long enough and honestly I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so we're not going to today. I am however going to like with my brows and that kind of tell you what I'm doing, how I do it, what works for me. Um, cause it is something that has been requested. So uh, yeah, I thought we would do that. So which powder brush do I want? Let's go for this one. 
I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. I cannot stop using this at the moment. It is just... It's just the best powder. It is 100% my favourite powder at the moment. As you can see by the bits flying off, it is extremely finely milled and it smells just amazing. I'm just gently, with whatever was left on the brush that time, went under my eyes. I don't want too much under my eyes but I find where this is so fine it's just it, I can get away with more with it I think is that how you put it I don't know but it doesn't kind of dry me out and uh, I really like that about it yeah this is an absolutely wonderful powder I know it's on the expensive side and I hate to recommend things that are more expensive but it's so worth it so worth it. It's better than the Laura Mercier. It's it's better than my OPV. It's even better than my Nabla. And that's saying something. I mean, I love all of those other powders. And I will obviously continue using them. But I can't help but absolutely love this. So yeah, if, uh, if you don't mind the slightly higher price tag and obviously a scent then yeah it's amazing so going in with contour i'm using the kaleidos charisma contour palette in cool and light i love this i love this little slip as well it's like really sturdy and yeah i love that so i go in with this shade in the middle here and This is just such a beautiful shade. I, I love this. I think if I were to run out of this, this is definitely something that I would repurchase because it is amazing. And I can use all three of the powders because I can use the middle one for contour, the top one for brightening, and then the bottom one for um, bronzing. And I love how it's not overly pigmented because whilst I like that in like eyeshadows, possibly blushes, I love that this is buildable because the last thing you want is kind of a grey face, greyed out face. Well, obviously, unless that's your style or it's Halloween. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I absolutely adore this. No, 100% I would repurchase this when it runs out and I'm just in love with Kaleidos's uh, everything just all their products they want everything I just I love the uh, the packaging of them the thought that's clearly gone into it it's just amazing Let's get rid of the double chin and slim my face down a bit oh I love how you can do that kind of change your face shape in a way so for my brows today I'm going to be using the Catrice slim matic ultra precise brow pencil in cool brown I love this so much the it does have the uh little spoolie on one end um as you can probably see i don't need that um it's the pencil i'm here for so although i pretty much know where to start my brows from now um in the beginning i used to uh just hold it against my nose there and put like a a little mark and then do the same the other side and then if you go like this you can see if they're the same height so then once I know where I'm starting I just start drawing in some hairs just to kind of map out the shape that I want so obviously this is the shape we're going for today 
I just go with whatever <laughs> whatever I start with, really. I generally just kind of follow the original line I've done just above it and just draw in like brow hairs I do like to use a pencil as well as the pomade I think you can get a much more kind of natural look with the with a pencil the uh, the inner part you don't want to kind of overfill you want it to stay kind of the was like the lightest part of your brow which is the bit I often fail at which is why mine quite often look blocky so <laughs> it's easier not to look blocky with a pencil to be fair because it's just down to pressure rather than how much you pick up on a brush and then just the same with the other side Again, that's pretty much the uh, the line sketched out. So, going in with hair strokes. <laughs> I'm not very good at doing these kind of finicky things on camera because I always worry about doing that kind of putting it in the way but then also I don't want to be leaning down so much that you can't see what I'm doing yeah once you've got your guideline of kind of the shape you want your brow to be and like where then the rest is just drawing hairs really And then it's trying to make them match because so I've gone higher arch with this one and just see if we can kind of push the arch up <laughs> so that's another good thing you can do kind of cheat a bit and do whatever you need to to uh, to get your desired eyebrows I used to be so pedantic about making them absolutely perfect um, and match completely which is kind of unrealistic because your brows naturally don't match completely but there you go that's my attempt at teaching you how to do brows or how not to depending on what you think of them so for bronzer i'm using the nabla skin bronzing in the shade june i love this i do like to go in with uh, bronzer before i start eyeshadow because i think once you've got a bit of shape to your face and a bit of warmth um it's kind of when you're doing your eyeshadow it doesn't look so off does that make sense because you know when you do your Eye makeup before the rest of your face completely and you have that kind of I don't know it looks not right until you add the rest and uh, although I don't like to add too much I do like to kind of give my face some shape 
Now this bronzer is lovely. I prefer to use it with a denser brush um, just because it is very, like it's a more light and buildable one for my skin. Because I possibly could get away with a slightly darker one, but it's very difficult to tell what one's what on the, the website. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I do love, I do love this. So the eye primer I'm going in with is the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer in Light. I was so kindly gifted this from my beautiful, wonderful friend Anki. Um, I'll link her channel in the description box below. Please, please, please go check her out if you don't know who she is. She's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I love her so much. Um, yes, anyway, Smashbox Eye Primer. So, this is only the second time using it. Um, I need a brush. Oh, you do? Yeah. So, yeah, it's only my second time trying it. But yeah, the first time I think I really enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah. I think it seems pretty good. I think it was I tried it in my it's like a full face or almost full face of first impressions I don't know it won't be up now it'll it'll be going up at some time soon um so I now have an external hard drive so I can film that a little bit more and keep more I don't I don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna shut up um but yeah so it, it will be up soon somewhere in the next week or two I still like to tap over with my finger because I think it kind of warms the product and kind of, I don't know, melts it to your skin more. I don't know how you would describe what I mean by that. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I am away with the fairies today, so I am so sorry. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground. I love this and I haven't used it hardly at all. So I really, really wanted to uh, to play with it. Um, I'm not going to go for a green look because uh, that's pretty much what I always do. So let's go with Tulip. This purple. So tulip I'm going to place in my crease. I'm kind of almost stamping it on a bit first. And blend a bit. I prefer to blend a bit, then pack, then blend a bit. Just I don't know. I find that works better for me. But you've got to go with what what works for you. So, oh, I love this. So every time I've picked this up, it's been for the greens, which if you know me, you will completely understand why. I do love purple as well, but as soon as I see greens, that's that's kind of me one over. So yeah, proper blending this out and trying to create the the shape. So how many of you have the uh, made by Mitchell feet on the ground palette? And uh, if you've got it, what do you think of it? I I'm loving, I've got both the feet on the ground and head in the clouds and I love both of them. I almost grabbed the head in the clouds to play with today, but I don't know, the green packaging kind of won me over. 
I'm uh, I'm that easily tempted if it's got green then yeah green snake prints anything like that and and I'm one Okay, just deepen up the bit closest to the crease just a little bit just to have some more to blend out hmm so I think I'm going to go in with a mood which is this deeper purple I'm using my Made by Mitchell brushes too, and I, I use these a lot of the time. Okay. I don't know how much this is going to change. I just want to go into my lower crease with that. And on the outer edge of my lid. Oh, this is beautiful. I will go back in and blend it out better, but oh, look at that. I do love how how uh, Made by Mitchell's eyeshadows perform. They are so good. I'm so happy that I've got both of them. I'm not interested in the little mini palettes. I prefer the bigger palettes anyway. But yeah, I've got no interest in the smaller ones, but the two I have, the feet on the ground and head in the clouds are just amazing and I love them. This is beautiful. Yeah, this is really nice. I am loving these purples. beautiful okay so i am going to go in with ammo which is the black matte to deepen up just that outer area but i am going in with just a little bit of time so that it doesn't kind of take over and become black rather than a deeper purple that. Yep, that's perfect. I am loving how this is looking so far. So I'm going to go back in with Tulip, the first purple that we used, I used, whatever. And I'm just going to go over the edges and just bring that up a bit higher. I don't like that empty space that we seem to have looming there. So we're just going to blend it more upwards. That's looking better already. That's exactly what I was looking for. I do love how they blend so beautifully together. So next, going back in with a mood, the uh, deeper of the two purples. And I'm just going to be bringing that back a bit and blending it up and into that lighter purple look at that i love that this has got the black in there i think it really makes a difference it helps with any color story because uh, it then gives you the option to deepen up um any look 
So on the lower lash line, I'm going to dip between ammo and a mood. So between these two, um, just to do the outer edge. So working with the two of them, I think, oh, perfect. I'm just using a little smudgy brush just to get up and close there and I have this um I think it's because I've got hooded eyes just this dip here where it doesn't always uh fill in you kind of have to go in and kind of force it to do what you want so I'm going to go in with tulip the uh the lighter of the two purples and just Kind of use that to uh, diffuse those edges a bit. I don't want these harsh lines. I don't like harsh lines. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go in with some NYX Glitter Primer on my lids just to uh, give the shimmers something to stick to. I'm just going to take it above. Like when I look forward, I want to take it above where that is so that these shimmers will still show. So I think the first shimmer I am going to go in with is Grass. Which is, I've just put my finger in it, that one there. And that is going to go on the outer edge there. Oh, I do like this. I did have to bring in some green. that look at the green and then with the other side of the same brush I am going to go into false gold and I'm going to place that over probably most of the rest of my lid This is so pretty. And then I'm just tapping between the two just to get that blend. Oh, that is amazing. This is such a beautiful shade. Look at that. And then going in between the two. That looks so pretty. All right. Now I need to decide what I want to do in the inner corner. 
I'm actually going to go in with Bless You, the uh, yellow shimmer. I have a feeling it's going to look good. So let's see. This one does appear to be a bit flakier than the other shimmers from what I'm gathering so far. This is nice. Ooh, I think that was a good choice. And I'm going to wrap that around so that it is coming under the eyes too. So it's coming under on the other part of my lower lash line. I don't know why I can't speak. I really like this colour. I'm also really liking what it's doing to the look. Yep. Loving it. This is so pretty. I love this palette so much. It's just so many options for looks. I love the colour story. I also love the colour story to the... Uh, Head in the clouds one of the I don't know I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> oh dear the lights are on but no one's home today I'm afraid <laughs> I'm just kind of making sure to drag it along like over the top just to kind of I don't know how to describe it so yeah I'm just just taking it and making sure that that it's kind of an arch and then it kind of joins up over at the end and then just going back in with fool's gold and uh, just to make sure these are blended just taking the tiniest bit And then back in with the black ammo just to really deepen up this uh, outer area here. And I'm just going to tap between a mood and ammo. To uh, bring nearer. Beautiful. So first in with ammo, the black. And then between the two, I 
yep that is looking good and then going back in with tulip which is the lighter of the two purples i'm just going to take that over the top and make sure that everything is blended nicely and dipping between the two purples so a mood and tulip And again, just going over that. See, by picking up the two, it helps the blend go more seamlessly. So I think I'm going to go in with Bless You for the brow bone highlight. Let's see how this goes. Is it going to be bright enough? Yeah, I believe so. Perfect. I do love when a palette has a shade that is perfect for a brow bone, what, in a corner and brow bone highlight. Look at that. Yep. I'm just literally taking the tiniest bit at a time because I don't want it to become overpowering. Because as you can see there, it can. Uh, it's easy to get it to be really opaque, which is not really what we want for a brow bone highlight. Hmm. Yes, I am happy with how that's looking. So I'm going to take a quick break um, just to have some water, chill, maybe do my physio exercises and then I'll come back to uh, continue with you. So for you it will only be a few seconds so I will see you in just a moment. Okay so while I was taking a break the postman came and uh, let's just say my box of shame is even bigger now. So anyways, I am going to go in with the Madosh Beauty Liquid Eyeliner in black. And it's one of these, these little brushes. So, let's go in. I did um and ah about doing colourful liner, but I have been meaning to try this on its own. So I've only used it so far to um, tight line. Well, this is very easy to use.
Well, I think that's about as even as they are gonna get. So in the delivery that came, I have got some new eyelash curlers. So I have binned the broken ones and then I have these to use. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's better. Much better. Perfect. That is so good. Right, let's get some scar on before they uh, go on down. So if I were going for a nice natural look, my eyelashes just alone would be perfect. I do very occasionally do a natural look. I will do one on camera soon, I promise, for all of those of you that, that do love the uh, the neutrals. This mascara is amazing. I love it. I do have another mascara to try and I keep thinking, oh, I'll get it out and try it today, but then I pick this up. <laughs> so... Uh, I love this. Look at that. They're so cute. They're from um, She Glam from Shein. They're only cheap. And uh, they did, oh, I'm wobbling. They did a fantastic job of curling my eyelashes and they're cute. So uh, that wins me over. I'm easily pleased. Right, so two stick on the lashes. I've also got some new little tweezers. So uh, this is going to be exciting too. Um, right, lashes. So the lashes I'm going to use are from Artitude Cosmetics. They're in the style Artitude. I love these so much. Get them out of the box. Alright. And I'm going to go over the liner against my lash line with the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude 2 in 1 Liner and Lash Adhesive. Give that a good shake first. And then right up against the lash line. Right, and on, then looking down, Well, these awesome little things made it easier. So for in my waterline, I'm going in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade... Oh, I'm so blind. Peach Fuzz, I think. I'm sure it is. I do absolutely love these Colourpop liners. I think my favourites now are my Colourpop ones. 
and my Linda Halberg ones, the nude crayons that I have courtesy of my wonderful friend Anki. I love them so much. I spent ages umming and ahhing about what what eyeliner I was going to put in my waterline. Crazy. And now the Medeja Lash Mascara, just to uh, go over those little lower lashes. I have the most annoying lashes on the bottom because I have gaps. I have some that are longer and some that are shorter. It's bizarre. That will have to do. <laughs> right, for blush, I am going in with my Pout and Shell blush in the shade Candy Floss Clouds. This was so kindly gifted to me from Pout and Shell. Look at that. Beautiful absolutely beautiful right let's should we go with you yeah this is such a beautiful color it comes out like a real dusty pink look at that I don't know how well it will show up on camera because usually for on camera you have to put that bit extra on we will build it up a bit more just to uh to make sure you can see it on camera oh, this is so pretty so pretty I'm not even going to say it because uh, pretty much everyone knows, but Pout and Shell, my favourite blushes. They are amazeballs. I love this. It's such a cute little blush. And for highlight, I'm not going to be able to show you the inside. It's the Makeup by Lisa highlighter in the shade Pink Sunshine. Um, I have, in fact, where am I put it? So I have, in fact, got a Makeup Resurrector kit. So I should be trying to save that along with this green. I've got a green highlighter that came from She Glam or Shein. And uh, that's smashed to pieces too. So we are going to give it a go see if see if i can fix them oh crikey no don't come out look at this it's just such an amazing pink highlight it's so easy to like go in lightly or add more it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful so look at that glow beautiful and then down the center there absolutely beautiful and for lipstick i decided to go with the ciate london glitter flip liquid lipstick in the shade surreal and i love this but it's been a while since i've worn it it's got a weird shaped doe foot
So this is a finished look. What do you think? I'm loving it. I've loved everything recently. I think I just, I like to be colourful. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like or a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you're new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of colourful makeup. I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. And every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time, we have Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health, where you can uh, join others in the live chat and like a virtual cafe. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today, all of you in the live chat, and for any of you watching at a later time or date, thank you so much for watching. So I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.